this is part two of working with GradeSheets version 1.0, uh, just some advanced tools that you can use. So I've gone ahead and put in another assignment here, and we're talking about different ways to connect that with Classroom and some marks from Fluberoo and using Google and things like that. That's the whole point of using an online gradebook like this is so we can connect and have uh, all those systems working together. If you something else on the side note is you can use scripts to mark in levels. So input already is the script here for the different levels and what the return is. Uh, if you want to edit those, you can just go to tools and you can script editor and you can change them to the percentage that you want. Just how it works would look something like this. So let's go back to our grade. So you put in start with an equal level for P for plus. We need to put the input mark. So I usually uh, copy this, and then I can just put that in. I can start the next one while it loads. Equal level three uh, minus, put the input in, press enter. And it's going to give us a percentage based on levels for marking like that. It's not the fastest, most efficient system, but it seems to be working. Uh, if you do know another way, definitely worth mentioning in the comment section. Uh, that's one way to mark with levels. For a lot of time when you're marking with that, you're going to be doing online marking. So you're going to be exporting your marks from so this is our classroom here. You want to export your grades. So it'll look something like this. And I, we have marks like this. We also have marks from uh, using Fluberoo here, sorry, Doctopus and uh, Gubrick, and it'll give us a rubric score here. And we want to use that data. You could essentially just copy and paste it over. And that will work. But if you went back and changed the score through your marking with Doctopus here, so if I went back to a link and I regraded an assessment and that mark updated, it won't be reflected in our new grade sheet. So the best way actually is to use import range. So a quick easy way to show you what, how imported range works, we're going to go back to here. We're going to go to these rubric scores. So if I do update them, update it in real time to this sheet will reflect the changes on our grade sheet. So that's the best way to link things together. Or if you're going to link your grades from your, your classroom, just in case an assignment is turned in late or they resubmit and they get a better mark. So what I need to do is make a named range on the data that I'm taking. So let's go over to this one, for example. So you highlight the data you want to save. And I've already named this range. So we're going to go to data. We're going to go named ranges. So I called it uh, this one here, ingested marks. And we can take a look at that. Uh, and it's just F2 to I27. So it's copied all those marks and named that range. Once you name the range, the formula to get this from one Google Sheet to another Google Sheet is actually pretty straightforward. It's just import range. First one, uh, you're going to start with the spreadsheet key, which is just the URL of the spreadsheet. So we're using this one. So we copy the URL. It's in there. Close the quotes. Add a comma. And now we need our quote again. We need our, our key. And the key here is just what they call it here, our named range rubric scores. That's just saying the tab that it's on and what our Excel range is going to be, or sorry, our sheets range is going to be. Pop that in. And that should import those grades uh, directly into it from that sheet. So now if one of these is changed, sorry, say four, for example, uh, that'll get reflected on this side after a few seconds when it updates. So there it is. So that's a good way of linking different sheets together. So now when, I'm, when I have these separate marking uh, Doctopus, and they want to change or update or add in a second one, those marks will be automatically reflected into our grade sheet. So you only have to change the mark in one place when you're using that rubric. So you don't have to open a couple things. You're going to save some time that way. So just to recap, we talked about the script you can edit and you can put in levels. Uh, we talked about connecting different sheets to our own sheet by naming ranges. And once you name a range, you can import that range. Sorry, over here. We name this range, and you can import that range into your actual grade. So that will be reflected on all of your tabs. So now we have a better view. We have a heat map, so we know there's uh, something going on here. The highlighted ones will be more red and darker. We know we can um, look at what assignments need to be overall and done again. So that's uh, all for this. 
if you have any feedback, definitely go to the instructions tab, open that link and provide some feedback. We will be updating this with live report cards and other add-ons in the future, but that's where we are right now. So definitely test it out and give it a try and see how it works for you.